So it seems I just remembered that um, the girl who writes this story, <clears throat> um, her inspiration is Ebony, Darkness, Dementia, Raven Way from the infamous fan fiction My Immortal. I just remembered that being there. Anyways, that's why she's almost dying, but <clears throat> and all this other crap is happening with the vampire stuff and stuff. Okay. So, let's begin chapter 6, which is a life that's so demanding. Mm -hmm. When I woke up, D-word <laughs> was over me. Twila, Twyla, he screwed into my ear. You're going to be okay. My long straight hair was all around me. I was laying on the floor. I was wearing a black spaghetti strap shirt with a matching sweatshirt over it and a black jean skirt with MCR pins on it. I held on ripped fishnets and black high heels that had spikes coming out of them. There were bandages all over my arms and body where I cut myself. <laughs> you could see the blood coming through. Just fuck off, okay? I said with a sad smile. Is that possible. And I started to cry. He tried to comfort me. He had his bronze hair and spikes with purple streaks in it, and he had on white foundation on his sexy face. There were tears raining down from his topaz eyes. No, please, tell me why you did this. He shooted. <laughs> I, do, I don't want to effing talk about it, about it, okay? Can you just back the fuck off? I was so d depressed. I got up off the floor and tried to run out the door, but Edward stopped me. Wait, he whimpered. There was someone waiting for you out there. It's not safe. His voice got all low and hot like a male version of Amy Lee in the beginning of Going Under. But I really need to talk to you, I begged pleasingly. Listen, I can't stay in this school anymore. We can talk later. Watch out, she's about to break down the door. Suddenly I turned around and the door smashed down. It was... Dot, 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 dot. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, eh. you know what? Why the heck not? <laughs> Nothing else in this story makes sense. Why should it make sense now? Anyways, author's note. Thanks for the suggestion. 666XXX. <clears throat> Ha <laughs> ha Don't even bother, she said meanly. You can't escape from me, Twyla, beautiful psycho, topaz, sadness, colon, oh. Yes, she has a new middle name. <laughs> but I was too angry to even see her. You know, you now what, Edward? You never pay attention to me. <laughs> she can speak Spanish again, attention. Why don't you just go to Emmett so you guys can screw? Because you obviously don't care about me. No, please, he got down on his knees with dark tears of sorrow. Give me another chance. Do you remember what I said that night? He looked at me all confused and sad, and Buffy started to take out her sword. I said one more chance, and I meant it. Now you can just get the fuck out of my life because you only hurt me. <sighs> She's so dramatic. It's, it's still just terribly sickening. I took off the pentagram he had gotten for me, and just before I was about to throw it out the window, he ran over and hugged me and started to sing Crux of, Crux of Fiction in Space by Marlon Manson. <laughs> that song was so touching, and I had to forgive him. Excuse me, where were, where were we? Laughed Bam. Buffy the Vampire Slayer looking at us. Look, if you look out of here, I'm going to post these pictures of you screwing Angel on the internet. I shoot it. She got scared because she didn't want to end up like that prep Paris Hilton. A lot of other stuff happened, and then Edward went home. We were still marred. <laughs> but I didn't get to talk to him about transferring. I went home and listened to Panic at the Disco. You spilled it wrong. <laughs> and put on a black nightgown and put my hair up in a black skull clip. I went to take a, ba a, a bathe, but when I went to the tub, I saw Edard. <laughs> what? Who's Edard? How did you get in here? I asked, shockily with anger. I transported him, and I have telekinesis. <laughs> oh my god. Authors know, like Volksamort from My Immortal Law. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now Edward does telekinesis. That's great. Because you know telekinesis is kind of moving things with your mind. Okay. So we took off our clothes and you guys can guess what we did. Yeah, you pervs. Get your mind minds out of the gutter. 
uh, out of the glutter. Next morning, I woke up and I couldn't believe it. Oh, OMFG, Ed, wake up right now. I scrammed. He drove over to my house to see what was wrong. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I was crying. I started to cut my wrists over the bandages with a razor. Just then, the phone rang. It was the principal saying, Twola, you're going to be late for your first day at Mount St. Preps Academy. <laughs> <laughs> How did he know she wasn't at school already? Anyway. That's it. This couldn't be any worse. I flew into my bed and kept crying, and my pillow turned red and black with makeup and blood. You're going to Mount State Preps Academy, Edward yelled. I was trying to tell you that last night, you idiotic... AIDS. <laughs> I couldn't take it. My life was absolutely terrible and I had nothing left to live for. Edward tried to calm down and hug me, but I punched him away. That's nice. Please, it'll be okay, he promised, but I didn't believe it. I just wanted to watch the ring and overdose with aspirin and pot. You cannot overdose with either of those things, but yeah. I started to sing How Could This Happen to Me by Smipple Plan. <laughs> Ed weeped and weeped. Authors know, if you don't like sensitive guys, then fuck off. And I fell asleep having nightmares about preps and babies. What terrible things to have nightmares about. Just feel so bad for Twola slash Twyla slash Tequila. She has so many freaking names. 